to go ahead. He always had a funny joke and he was always very friendly and positive. Of course, I would add comedian. Mm -hmm. the guy, all he did was tell jokes. You meet him, he tells you a joke right away. He just goes on. I don't know where he gets them from. I asked him, where do you get all these jokes from? <laughs> you know, some of them he makes up, some of them he picks up, but he's a comedian. Yeah. I think he's a wannabe stand-up comedian. Yeah. Uncle, that's what you should do. <laughs> Come back as a stand-up comic. <laughs> My goodness. Well, he called me up uh, the other night. Anyway, I'm going home. Yeah, okay. Where are you going to stay? You come at my place. They went, no, I can't go at your place or anybody's place. Because I like to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> walk around naked. <laughs> you walk around naked. So, just, just like me, I like to be naked. <laughs> oh, we had fun. Holy Moses. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's a lot of times. Yeah. Well, so, we talk around 9 o'clock till 12 o'clock. Oh, long okay. distance. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. He, when, I, when I had a birthday or anything like that, he's the only one. You can talk to anybody. Oh, Kondo, send me uh, like Annie Mae Ritchie. He's very close to Annie Mae Ritchie. And he'll say, Oh, Kondo sent me a birthday card. Nat Kondo is crazy. He never forgets me. And it's not, you know, I mean, you can always count on Uncle Kondo to give you a call and tell you a joke, make you laugh. Um, he just called me actually yesterday morning and uh, made my day because I hadn't heard from him for a while. So had a joke to tell me <laughs> and uh, it was great to hear his voice. How, how many years are you two apart? Kanu, two years. We were both born on the same date, February 27th. He was born in 35, mm -hmm. I was in 33. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're both born on the same day. So you both so same, time, had the same birthday. One time, yeah, same one, birthday. One time I wanted him to feel guilty and I said to him, this is just a couple of years ago, I said to him, you know what, Kanu? I only had one good birthday. On my second birthday, you were born, so they paid attention to you, a new, a new baby in the family. And I didn't have no more birthdays on my own. He said, what are you talking about? At least you had one to talk about. I never had any on my own. <laughs> and I'm born the same day. So I think that me there. <laughs> yeah. Unusual, like, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Same day. Yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. people. That's the same thing with uh, my two brothers, uh, Maddie and uh, Slim. Hmm. They were born April the 17th. So um, my, my mother, Giju, used to tell us, I had so many children, you had to share birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> well, he called me up on the phone, and the first thing was the umsit na nege bislo we don't week to go, and he always would speak Mi'kmaq to me, always speak Mi'kmaq to me, and me, whom my mother comes from Ganawage, uh, would always, I would always go, well, I have to turn some, some screws now because here's this man talking to me in Mi'kmaq. Now I have to automatically uh, switch and it's a challenge sometimes but I really really enjoyed him uh, calling and meeting him and he would always talk Mi'kmaq and it always made me want to come back home yeah you know? but he's, he was what we call a natural uh, uh, linguist you know he was able to break down words I mean sometimes he'd, uh, he'd state that he didn't have to train but uh, you know if there is ever any such thing as a Natural linguist, it's this man. You know, mm -hmm. he loved the loved the language, understood. Uh, you know how how the words were developed, especially in Mi'kmaq. Because Mi'kmaq, it's a very descriptive language, so he understood that, and he was able to uh, you know break words down to their root word, so that why you had that why yeah yeah how was that word formed? Uh, you know, he said that on a couple of occasions that you know his mother, uh, from what I understood, saw that gift in him. You know, and, and that language was uh, was the gift. You know, mm -hmm. and that along with his talent, uh, you know, for singing. I mean, he was the uh, first one after uh, first one that we had singing. Uh, you know, Jack was uh, you know, history song, okay. and you know, just brought, brought everybody to tears. Whoever you know was a Mi'kmaq speaker and listened to 
uh, to the way he sung the song. Because yeah. it's not just the words, it's just the voice and everything that, uh, you know, lends to the whole thing. Yeah. You know, creates a song. It's not just the words, it's not just the tune, it's the whole combination of, of everything and everyone. I mean, he was just such a natural, it was just natural to invite him in and, mm -hmm. you know, to come to work for us. You know, because he had just, he had a gift. I mean, he had a gift that, uh, you know, can't be taught. You know, and he had an interest, a uh, love for the language. I think it's that, that uh, gift to uh, break down the language and love of the language. You know, so he was such a, an asset here, you know. The doors were open for, for him. I mean, the doors are still open today for him. You know, if he ever wanted to come home, I mean, there's a, we'll always find a, a spot for him. You know, he's contributed so much. Sometimes I would get stuck with Indian songs and I would come over here. He was living at his... Uh, his house there now, me and PG and uh, sometimes Lucy, and he would teach us how to sing Indian songs, and I used to tell him, Kando, I'll never make it, I'll never be able to sing this. He said, you know what, Dora, don't you say never. He said, you'll be able to study it, you'll sing it. I said, he'll tape it for me, I'll study it. And then uh, if I needed a song to be translated in Indian, Kondo was there to help me. He said, Dora's going to be hard. To sing that song, he's the one that translated that song. Mm. That's, and I made sure people, I said, this is what Kondo did for us here in Restigush for St. Anne's Day. That, that song is beautiful in Indian. I don't think there's any hymn he doesn't know. He knows all the oh hymns. Oh my God, I wish I knew all the hymns that he mm -hmm. sang. Yeah. Mm. I wish. <laughs> And have you sung with him? You know, yes. at any of your uh, um, you know, okay. gatherings. There's um, a picture you know, that I gave you. Mm -hmm. I think I was 13 years old, and I'm holding a piece of paper. And my brother was married to his first wife at the time. They had a band together called Rare Breed, and Marion was a very it was a beautiful singer. And my mother fell in love with Conway Twitty, uh, Joni Don't Cry, mm -hmm. and all she kept saying. I'm going to talk to Brian and Mary and I want them to learn this song for our next Christmas party. So I remember saying, well, why is it always going to be Brian and Mary and all the time? You know, I sing too. And she's going, no, you don't. And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> so she must have said that something to Uncle Kondo. Next thing you know, Uncle Kondo said, come on, you and I are going to sing. And I said, what are we going to sing? And he said, we're going to sing Joni Don't Cry for Your Mother. But he had to find the key that I sang it in and everything. Well, uh, if you look at the picture, you can kind of see I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm holding the paper and I'm looking up and I'm looking down and I'm shaking because I didn't know how, how it was going to come out or whatever. But we did good. My very earliest memories ever, ever, ever uh, are of uh, my Uncle Kondo. Uh, I used to call him Uncle Kondo and he used to quickly remind me and say, don't call me uncle, I'm your brother. And I never really understood what he meant until later on in life. Uh, he is my older brother in many ways because he helped raise me as, as a boy, uh, along with his parents, uh, Willis Gudgeon and Makondo. They were my parents after my mother died. They're the ones who raised me. So. And he instilled in me uh, structure and the discipline in which I carry myself today. And I remember him very clearly having me uh, sit up straight, uh, no elbows on the table, no this, no that. Those are the things that 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 form uh, a young a young boy and a young man. Mm -hmm. So now I, I'm very much a free spirit, but at the same time I'm very structured because of my of how, how Kondo influenced me. 
as a boy. Mm -hmm. he, he is my big, big brother. Mm -hmm. 